What's up, everybody? Scott Pogram here. You've seen me play with sticks. You've seen me play with brushes. We have some lessons and some techniques to work on and develop. What if we mash them up, combine them, and see what happens? So here, just messing around, playing a little bit of drum and bass, kind of jungle-esque beats. And what I like to mimic is some of the ideas that happen with the brushes, and then utilize that with the drumstick, right? So it's going to sound a little bit different. For example, if I'm kind of stirring the soup, or going inward or outward with the brushes. If I do that with the stick, it's going to be a different effect. But for me, especially doing a lot of studio work and foley work, I'm always looking for different sounds, different colors and textures, or things that you can use as like a transition into another segment. Whether you're writing a song, producing music for a film, or you're a drum soloist, right? These can be really unique transitions. Something that I learned a lot from the brushes with the different angles and the swoops and swishes you can have with your body applies to the drumstick, right? And even like the freehand technique, whether you're using it as a flutter or a flex, the idea is if you're dropping down, you get one note. And when you come up, you get a second note. And that applies to the drumstick. So example. That applies over here.
let's say if we took some of these ideas and just came up with kind of a thick groove. Switch. Even trying to work on the dynamic balance, deciding if one should be way louder than the other, or try to match them is a big trick. Single stroke roll with a brush in one hand, stick in the other. See, that can be really tough. And for me, working with these different tools in my hands, brushes, sticks, mallets, just your hands, fingers, fingernails, all this stuff kind of allows you to adapt to the situation, right? Whether you're setting up, you're on the gig, you're in the studio, you're sound checking, you're ready, set, go live, there's always gonna be some type of thing that could go wrong, right? Your gear could fall apart, you can miss your drum and hit your leg, right? That's all part of the improvisational side of being a musician, even if you're playing well-rehearsed music. So for here, um, when I'm using brushes and a stick, mixing up mallets and hands, things like that, it really allows you to think outside of the box because anything that you do that would even be normal, let's say your fill is, check it, do go crash. It's gonna sound a lot different here. Now we get to think with our angles, swooshes, our swirls, trying to maybe make a brush a lot louder than a drumstick, which means whichever hand is holding the drumstick has to have a lot more control and discipline. And then just being able to come up with open grooves, especially if you have two snare drums, this is really nice here because you could come up with something just like. So next time, if you're feeling a little bit in a rut or you want to take on a good challenge that's going to help your musicality, developing your hand technique, and really getting those ears to open up, grab a stick, grab a brush, and get into the drum kitchen <laughs> and mix something up. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please check out my other lessons on drumchannel.com.